the African wild dog is one of Africa's premier hunters. African wild dogs are one of the top three most efficient hunting animals in Africa. The African wild dog is a fearsome predator that attacks its prey in a very wild way. Wherever you are, let's swag wild animal life decode the wild world through the video. Look what happens when the stupid wild dog hunts the wrong prey. African wild dogs often attack in packs. They can chase prey at a maximum speed of up to 40 miles per hour. And it is estimated that about 80% of their prey fails to escape when they are hunted by an African wild dog. It doesn't use a physical strength advantage, but the African wild dog is still one of the most skilled and dangerous predators in this land. Wildlife is always full of interesting and unexpected things. In order to survive in a world where all rules and regulations are based on their own strength, wild animals are forced to do their best to win in this harsh battle. There is no place for softness. The animals are forced to race with ruthless survival battles. In addition to being quick to find food, you also need to be alert to everything around you. Because just a second of neglect and the price to pay will be your life. Wild dogs mostly take down small prey such as rabbits, possums and rats. Oh, we got it, we got it, we got it. However, when hunting in packs, they will take larger animals such as goats. The young of larger livestock such as cattle and horses are also vulnerable to attack. Some of the most common targets include zebras, wildebeest, warthogs, antelopes and gazelles. Wild dogs will also snatch smaller snacks, including birds, small mammals and large lizards when they have the chance. Although small and not possessing powerful hunting tools, wild dogs can take down prey up to five times their size. Facing a huge herd of wild buffalo, the wild dogs in the clip did not flinch. Smooth and agile coordination can help them separate the calf from the herd and turn it into a hearty meal. Facing a huge herd of wild buffalo, the wild dogs in the clip did not flinch. With smooth and agile coordination, they separated the calf from the herd and then turned it into the hearty meal. Oh. Oh. African wild dogs do not hesitate to confront other predators. With an overwhelming number, wild dogs can kill predators, even lions, leopards, or hyenas. But sometimes wild dogs have to accept the fierce resistance of their prey. 
Wild dogs hunt based on the advantage of the herd. So when they go for separate meals or hunt individually, the success rate will be far lower. And sometimes choosing the wrong prey will also cost these predators dearly. The alpha female has led the charge, followed by other adults with the young pups and a limping male close behind. They are searching for your opportunity to hunt, and the dogs covered a massive amount of terrain as they got the feel for the rhythm of the bush. What they could not have expected though, was an encounter with Africa's largest living land mammal, the elephant. Wild dogs are known to not like water. They usually limit their exposure to the water as much as possible. Upon spotting this elephant, the predators tried to attack, but water was hurled at them by the elephant. That makes it impossible for these dogs to get close to their prey. Elephants are one of the largest prey in Africa. Even lions must be very powerful to defeat this prey. Wild nature is always cruel and animals are forced to equip themselves with survival skills. Leave your thoughts below in the comment section. Although it is only about the size of a domestic dog, an African wild dog is classified as one of the most skilled and dangerous hunters in the wild. This long-legged canine has only four toes in each paw instead of the usual five like other common canines. The reality is quite the opposite. The African wild dog is one of Africa's most feared predators. Comparable to leopards or lions, famous predators on the savannas of the African continent. Wild dogs have a pack with highly social organization and full of discipline. This is one of the main things that helps them to survive in the harsh environment with many larger and much more dangerous one-on-one -on -one predators. They even play with steel plates and leopards and hyenas. Sometimes they even attack hyenas in the most unusual way. African wild dogs live in packs and are often ruled by a pair of pack leaders responsible for reproduction.
females typically give birth to 2 to 20 cubs per spawning, which are then taken care of by the entire flock. This wild dog is extremely social, and they are known for being able to share food and support members when weak or sick. Social interaction is quite common in this dog. And they often communicate with each other by tail wagging gestures and other calls. The African wild dog hunts in packs of 6 to 20 or more. In times before they were endangered, they would gather in much, much larger herds. These packs often hunt antelope. And will also gladly grab larger prey, such as wildebeest, especially when their prey is sick or injured. This breed also complements their diet with several species of rodents and birds. Oh, we got it. We got it. We got it. When their herd is large enough, they can even attack wild buffalo, many times larger than them. The African wild dog is threatened by habitat loss. The grasslands and plains where they can roam for food are now in danger of being lost and if this occurs, they would lose their homeland. In addition, wild dogs are also susceptible to infectious diseases from domestic pets. After a hunt, <gasps> African wild dogs often vomit meat to their young in the herd. They will give birth in abandoned underground burrows of African horned frogs or porcupines. The coat of the African wild dog usually have small spots of brown, yellow, black and white. African wild dogs once roam most of the continent. They like to socialize only with other dogs in the canine family. But you know the African grasslands are extremely dangerous for animals. Without exception, without mercy, the lion is the unruly ruler. This noisy pack of dogs has angered the lions, causing them to attack and kill many cubs. It can be said that lions and other predators are a big threat to the safety of wild dogs. Do you find this animal interesting? Leave your thoughts below in the comment section. The power of the lion is something that no prey dares to oppose. Even predators like leopards and hyenas. For an adult male lion to become king of their pride, they have to go through many battles to be able to maintain its throne and territory.
therefore, it is very rare to face a lion and leave with a happy ending. Lions often patrol areas of their territory. Not only to check to see if an enemy is encroaching on their territory, but also to act as a deterrent to other predators living in the area where the lions are located. This helps to control it. Lions are extremely fastidious in defending their territory. They will often attack other predators that come into their area. These wild dogs have made the fatal mistake of trying to get in there to look for prey. On one hand, the alpha lion perceives the wild dogs as a threat to his cubs. Wild dogs are small in size compared to other predators. However, their swarm, combination, as well as their attackability and predation rate of up to 80% makes them a fearsome foe. Luckily, the lion stops before the wild dog stop breathing. When the adult wild dogs in the pack go hunting, the little wild dogs play happily. They are fighting over a piece of flesh from Nepala that their mother had brought back earlier. Usually when the adult dogs go hunting, only a few female wild dogs stay to watch over the puppies. It is extremely dangerous to be ambushed by the enemy for the puppies. It's even worse when those enemies are large male lions. A male lion rushes into this pack of 16 wild dogs and immediately grabs an unfortunate victim to bite into. Moments later, another puppy suffered the same fate. Three other male lions took part in the carnage. Not long after, they discovered a strange young male lion entering the territory, so they chased this opponent. Although the wild dogs have suffered losses, they are still one of the most powerful forces in the lion's territory. Perhaps the lion carnage stems from the wild dogs earlier attacking a lioness and cub in their territory. This has provoked the pride of the lions and the carnage that took place on the stray dogs is the result. The lioness bursts into the middle and fights the wild dogs to distract them, giving her cub a chance to escape safely. But the mother and her cubs are surrounded by wild dogs. Wild dogs can be formidable in large numbers, and like hyenas, they are not afraid to attack larger lions. The wild dogs didn't stop attacking, but then they gave up and left. Luckily, the mother lion and her daughter are safe. And the very next day, the lion's revenge took place. What do you think about the foolish actions of the wild dogs when deliberately confronting the king of the grasslands? You see the feral dogs paid more than what they got. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you for watching the video till the end. I hope the above information is useful to you. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel to receive new videos every day.